Sure, I'm here with uh, Chad Reiner, victorious, uh, taking home the uh, X1 welterweight title uh, in a rematch against Mark Moreno. We'll talk about the fight just in general and how it went. Uh, I knew that going into this fight, Mark would be a lot ready, uh, a lot more ready for this fight. And I knew I had to be a lot more ready. I knew that, you know, Mark's one of those fighters, if he catch you with the right hand, it's the fight's over. With. So I knew I had to circle to the right, stay away from his uh, right hand. I know that uh, I did I did a decent job of that. I just tried to throw some jabs in his face and, uh, and just get, keep relaxed. So uh, um, I knew last time I didn't think Mark was going to take me out last fight. So I tried to, you know, I worked, you know. His, Mark's game uh, on the ground was a lot better than I thought it was. So last the first, last fight he surprised me. So you know I you know got back in the gym and you know I'm about the gym and trained a lot harder and uh, and tried to take him to the ground. And that's why I wanted on the ground and um, and I got some takedowns and, uh, and I think that's how that's what I wanted. I think is about takedowns and uh, you know, trying to wear him on the ground. So I think that's how I won the fight. So in the first one, go ahead. Uh, I was gonna say in the first round you had him in a. An almost identical submission as what ended the first fight, um, and he was able to get out of it. Talk about that. Did, did you have not have that locked in, or? Yeah, you know, uh, I did really sometimes I can remember things in fights, but there's so many things that run through your head in the fight. I have a hard time remembering exactly, you know, really what happened in the fight. You know, I knew that, um, I knew that he, you know, he, he hit me a couple times, but I felt real uh, comfortable with my stand up, and um, it, you know, it was, it was real tough to submit. You know, so he did a good job on uh, the submission defense, but. Um, I just, you know, kept, just kept striking, kept punching, knew I had to, had to make something happen to, to pull up a decision or, you know, or keep him on the ground. Um, you mentioned earlier the takedowns, and I think it really played a, played a role in the fight. Uh, talk about that last takedown, you just scooped him up. Well, the, yeah, the last takedown I felt, when, when I, the way I had him, I felt I had to get, um, I really had to get underneath him because I felt he was going to try guillotine me. So I tried to get, I popped up, my hips got underneath him, and I, I knew that I wanted to take him away from the ropes. So I took him away from the ropes, and um, I did I, at this, like, for, I thought for a split second maybe I'll get in trouble for slamming. I don't know if some of the nations get in trouble for slamming, but I uh, went for the slam, and then I felt when I slammed him, he knocked the wind out of him a little bit, and, um, and then I took advantage and, uh, and kept going from the strikes. And then you know I heard I heard him verbally say tap, but I kept throwing punches because I wanted the referee to stop. Uh, so now you're the champ, and uh, when can we expect to see you back to defend your belt here? Whenever X1 wants to be back, bro. Any uh, Hawaii fighters jump out of you at 170 you'd like to take on? Or? Uh, no, I don't really call anybody, but I'll fight anybody that's in front of me. All right, uh, thanks, Chad, and congratulations. Thanks,